सो हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल प्रतिष्ठ का स्थ द चैनल विद रिलेटेड टू ऑल द नॉलेज ऑफ ऑप्टोमेट्री एंड ऑफ थर्मोलॉजी फॉर द नोट्स ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इटियोलॉजी एंड पैथोफिजियोलॉजी ऑफ कैटरैक्ट सो बेसिकली जो इटियोलॉजी है उसके हमने छः डिविजन रहते हैं जिसमें उनके रिस्क फैक्टर्स वगैरह रहते हैं कि क्या क्या हो सकता है तो जैसे कि एजिंग एजिंग में क्या आ जाएगा लॉस ऑफ लेंस transparency decrease o2 uptake decreased level of vitamin c proteins increased in sodium and calcium next we are going to talk about toxic factors toxic factors we include cigarette smoking long term use of corticosteroids chemical eye burning and poisoning means matlab koi chemical ya fir koi harmful medicine vagaira kuch hum in dalne to nutritive nutritive factors mein aa jayega poor nutrition obesity reduced antioxidants physical factors we would include that trauma perforation uv radiations and x rays now talking about associated ocular conditions which means it ca which can be also responsible are myopia infections retinal surgery now we are going to talk about systemic diseases and syndromes which include down syndrome renal diseases or disorders और मस्क्यूलो स्केल्टल डिसऑर्डर्स नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द पैथोफिजियोलॉजी ऑफ कैटरैक्ट वी आर हैविंग द टॉपिक दैट द लेंस इज मेड अप ऑफ मोस्टली वाटर एंड प्रोटीन फाइबर्स वी ऑल नो दैट ओपेसिटी अकर्स वेन प्रोटीन क्लम्प्स टुगेदर विच मीन्स जो मैंने पिछली वीडियो में भी आपको बताया था कि जहाँ पर प्रोटीन क्लम्प हो जाता है इकट्ठा या प्रोटीन इकट्ठा हो जाता है वहाँ पर कैटरैक्ट होने के चांसेस ज़्यादा हो जाते हैं ability of the lens to refract light reduces which cause the reduce of visual acuity we all know that visual acuity is decreased chemical modification of the lens cause it to be thicken and harden this is the main point you have to remember and there are mainly three pathways which are responsible it is mainly three metabolic pathway which is convert the uh, glucose in energy atp and other relevant mo metabolic molecules first is glycolysis the second is pentose phosphate shunt and the third is the uh, polyol route talking about the glycolysis we are having the aging of the person which leads to decrease in hexokinase concentration when the hexokinase concentration is decreased matlab hexokinase concentration kam hone ke baad atp level mein drop ho jata hai drop in atp level now we are moving towards the next position is poor in control of electrolyte balance means jo electrolyte ka balance hai wo bhi kam ho jayega इलेक्ट्रोलाइट बैलेंस कम होने से क्या हो जाएगा मैसिव इन्फ्लक्स ऑफ वाटर इन टू द लेंस मतलब मैसिव अमाउंट ऑफ वाटर जो है वो लेंस में एंटर हो जाएगा विच विल लीड टू डिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रोटीन इन लेंस मतलब लेंस की जो पोजिशनिंग है या शेपिंग है उसमें थोड़ा सा अफेक्ट आ जाएगा नेक्स्ट इट विल लीड टू एग्रेशन एंड प्रेसिपिटेशन ऑफ द प्रोटीन विच मीन्स एग्रेशन प्रेसिपिटेशन मतलब या तो इकट्ठा होना या एक्सेसिव प्रोटीन का मूव uh, होने के स्टार्ट हो जाएगा विच विल फाइनली लीड टू कैटरैक्ट Now talking about the second pathway, which is the pentose phosphate shunt, we are having the two steps over here. Metabolization of fourteen percent glucose. Only fourteen percent glucose is metabolization is there in this pathway, and the second step is NADPH plus uh, H positive ion synthesis by glucose six phosphate. These are the two steps in this pentose phosphate shunt. Now talking about the third uh, pathway which is the the polyol pathway the polyol pathway is nothing but the in this isme kya hoga high glucose level in blood when there is high glucose level in blood jab blood mein glucose level high hoga polyol pathway will be there the polyol pathway will start taking its action which will leads to formation of glucose through glucose when aldose reductase will process With aldose reductase process, it will converted into sorbitol. With the help of polydehydrogenase, it will be accumulation of sorbitol in the lens, which means lens will be all absorbed in the lens uh, with sorbitol. Now talking towards the last step, hyperosmotic effect influx of excess water and aquaporin channels, which means. the influx of excess water excessive water will be there in the lens which will lead to automatically the opaqueness of the lens and finally it would lead to cataract so guys this was all about the cataract pathology and physiology and for more basic cataract i have done the previous video on this you can go and check in my channel so thank you and have a good day